Hey everyone, I hope you had a good Easter. Um, so our story this week is about Easter. We're kind of a week behind on our lessons. Um, so this story is from Matthew uh, and it's about uh, two women named Mary, Mary Magdalene and a woman who's referred to as the other Mary, which if you've ever been in a friend group where more than one person has your name, I'm sure you can sympathize with this poor woman that is known as the other Mary. Um, hopefully you weren't the other person in your, <laughs> your duplicate named friend group. But anyway, so these two women um, on Easter morning, um, they go to uh, the tomb to, um, it doesn't say why in this passage, but we're assuming they're going to um, prepare the body uh, properly for burial because there wasn't time when Jesus was put in the tomb on Friday night. Um, so they go to the tomb and right as they get there, there's an earthquake and the uh, um, an angel comes down and rolls the stone away from the tomb. And the, the guards that are standing there are so shocked and surprised that they pass out, they just faint, um, which is understandable. Um, but the angel says to the two women, says, don't be afraid, which seems to be um, the thing angels say when they show up throughout the Bible. They always start with, don't be afraid. Um, and they say, you know, Jesus isn't here anymore. Come look and see um, where he was, but he's gone. He is risen. Um, and he asked me to tell you to go ahead and um, tell everybody he's risen. And they should go to Galilee and he'll meet them there. Um, and so the women um, are excited and scared by this, obviously. So they start hurrying back to tell everybody. And on the way, Jesus appears to them. And they are so excited, and they greet him, and he says, um, go, you know, go on and tell everybody like the angel said, and I will be with you guys in Galilee. Um, so that's the story. And something that kind of struck me looking at the story is, I think this is kind of, kind of gets at the heart of what it means to be a Christian for these, uh, and the experience of these women, um, God gives them something to do. I think God has plans for us. He has things he wants us to do. And he tells these women, go do it um, through the angel. You know, go go tell everybody that this happened. Um, I think what that thing is is different for all of us. Um, but that's the thing he told these women to go do. And then um, not only that, he said, and I'm going to be there when you get there. So they're supposed to go tell everybody to meet in Galilee. And Jesus said, I will be there. So it's not... I'm sending you out by yourself to do this. Um, I am going to be there and, and work through you. Um, and then not only that, he doesn't even wait until they get all the way there. Um, they're on the way. They're, they're, they're working through to do what he's told them to do. And he appears to them and basically gives them a little, you can do it. I'm here with you. You got it. Um, that, that encouragement. Um, so that, that's what I took from the story. I might be interested to see what your thoughts on it were. Okay, let's pray. Lord, thank you for the sacrifices you made for us, for the love you poured out for us. Help us to show that same love to those around us and to the world at large. In your name I pray. Amen. Bye.